the network. So the story I was going to talk about about Spotify and an article that came out um, regarding uh, the title is "Hate Your Favorite Band's Latest Song." On Spotify, it might be a fake, and the whole. So the idea of this is speaking to bands who have had songs come up on their artist profile they didn't release, they didn't sanction to be released, it's not their actual song. Right. So people are actually posing as these artists and submitting via a distributor that it's a song by this said band. So it goes onto their profile and obviously they get all the streams for it and they get all the money for it as well. So they don't go for like the really, really big artists because obviously that's too risky, but they can go for artists that have got, you know, hundreds of thousands of monthly listeners, even sometimes millions, and, you know, reap the rewards from that. So one example is a band or a duo called TV Girl. So a song was released, which they didn't release. It came up on their artist page as a new song. It had some basic sort of like um, stock image artwork, and it sounded nothing like any of their other stuff. Mm-hmm. And naturally that went out to, you know, the hundreds of thousands of followers on Spotify and release Radar. Suddenly they get all this like social media like traffic from the audience like what on earth is this like this is your worst song ever and it's um, not even from them and so that the person who the, the person or company who has put this song out is going to get all the streaming from that all the royalties of the hundred thousand of streams and if you do it with the right distributor like if you find like a really small distributor who doesn't really you know do too much checking of what's submitted the mess state is really shoddy, you could literally just claim the artist profile and, and upload as them. So they, they used a distributor called La, um, La Capola Music, which is based in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. So they were able to pose as this American duo. And wow. then there's a, there's a few more examples as well. Um, and I was just, obviously, I obviously was aware before about, you know, the fake streams and the bots and the fake playlists, but actually posting as posing as real artists. I thought that was, wasn't something that I saw coming, but it does make sense. And it seems unfortunately quite easy to do looking at how, the, how they've gone through it, the process. So could an artist actually get fans from that? I know I can get streams, right? Because I'm posing as the artist, mm-hmm. but could I get fans from that? So is it like more, is it I'm getting on their profile and people think it's mine but does it ultimately click back to my profile? No, it, you're, you're literally just taking over that artist's mm-hmm. page. So you're getting the streams for that one particular song that you actually uploaded yourself because you're getting all the numbers from that artist. Got it. Um, it's only at some... If, you, if it is then flagged, eventually Spotify will duplicate the artist page and transfer it over. Um, but it took like two weeks for TV Girl to get this resolved and to get them to make, you know, take it off their page. You know what? That makes so much sense, actually, though. Because there, there's so many artists that I personally deal with that have had that issue when and not trying to do it on purpose. They're like, yo, they have my profile on the wrong page, and I'm trying yeah, yeah. To, get them to get it off. So, so it actually makes sense that that's like a thing. It happens to me as well when I'm listening on release radar to stuff. I'm like, well, it sounds like nothing I'd ever listen to. Then I go on and realize that it's actually, you know, a band with the same name that I follow. And that happens, that yeah. happens as well. Even though, they've got, even though they've got a different profile, it can even be that. It can even be like, maybe the algorithm just associates the name with, with, the, with the playlist. It doesn't actually look at if it's a separate page or not. So if, one, if a band is called, you know, XYZ, it could put any any song by any XYZ artist onto this release radar, for example, like, is it that yeah. intelligent that it knows the difference between the certain artists with the same name? That's I don't crazy, think it does. Man. That's crazy. Because it's interesting because many of these things that we've talked about before are legitimate loopholes that people have found, right? And no one's thinking about or discovering. But in this situation, it's more like bad customer service is actually an issue that so many artists have spoken up and had spoken up about and had but someone just said hey you know what <laughs> i can just use this this way so like spotify is very aware that this this happens all the time they yeah, were already yeah. aware of that they just fortunately ha- apparently haven't had that many people abuse it or at least 
were not um, not understanding that someone would intentionally abuse it. But it takes so long for them to take it down anyway or take action that is really in the interest of the people to do it because they've got two weeks of streams they can collect <laughs> like yeah. before it gets moved. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a, re- it's a real issue. It's the network. Oh, 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 oh,